um, long-term effect of reduction in parasympathetic function as well as alteration in autonomic nervous system function in general is poorly documented relative to prognosis. The um, soldiers who are exposed to battlefield experiences um, have an alteration in their autonomic nervous system. The primary alteration is a suppression of the parasympathetic autonomic nervous system. Therefore, they re result in non-sleeping at night and a measurable reduction in the body's response to stimulation. They wind up suppressing parasympathetic function and not being able to reduce their heart rates during the nighttime hours. The company's core methods of treatment involve improvement in autonomic nervous system function, particularly parasympathetic autonomic nervous system function, which before the invention of these products was very poorly treated by physicians because they didn't have the appropriate methodologies. So when you stimulate the parasympathetic autonomic nervous system, heart rate goes down, anxiety goes down, um, etc. When you stimulate the sympathetic nervous system, heart rate goes up, anxiety goes up, it's a fight or flight reaction. The Stimulatory effect is on the adrenergic nervous system, epinephrine, norepinephrine, where the parasympathetic system is dependent on acetylcholine as the precursor. So that you have the ability to alter a part of the autonomic nervous system that you've never had the opportunity to uh, affect. So it is uh, as important as the sympathetic, which is what we treat all the time, but it's a different mechanism than you're used to. The ability to modulate the parasympathetic autonomic nervous system, we believe, is a substantial advance in our ability to treat various uh, disease states. Well, PTSD patients will complain of a number of symptoms. They'll complain of fatigue, cognitive problems, difficulty thinking, confusion. They'll feel the symptoms often of depression, obviously, as well. And what you see in patients taking Centraim is improvement in all these symptoms. They'll say they're able to think better, that their energy levels are improved, and they feel less depressed and less anxious. And especially when using the combination with Centropium, the patients take in Centropium because one of the other symptoms commonly of PTSD is poor not only quantity of sleep, in other words, how many hours you sleep, but decreased quality of sleep, reduced thing, you know, reduced REM sleep, reduced deep sleep, frequent awakenings at night. And in addition, when you add centropium, you see improvement in not only the quantity of sleep, the number of hours you sleep, but the quality of sleep that patients report as well. So again, and this contributes to reduction in depression, because depression and sleep are so tightly tied together, depression and anxiety are so tightly tied together that you see improvement in all these parameters when you use Centropium in this population as well. One of the things PTSD patients, especially these people have been forced to stay up all night, you know, have basically a burnout of their neurotransmitters. That these neurotransmitters that are involved in regulation of sympathetic and parasympathetic function, the anxiety, depression, stress responses have all been burned out. And when you give them the necessary building blocks in order to rebuild those neurotransmitters and rebuild the nervous system's normal responses, you see this significant improvement in symptoms. As we administered to soldiers who were suffering, had, had suffered from TTSD, and using, again, standardized questionnaires to measure that their stress responses and to measure the impact it was having on the quality of life. And what's important to understand is that Numerous treatment modalities have been looked at, both medication-wise, uh, psych um, psychiatric treatment, etc., none of which have been shown to have any substantial impact on improvement in PTSD symptomatology. This was the first study ever 
that showed a substantial reduction in several standardized measures of reduction in the symptoms related to PTSD. And this has been again looked at over several studies, several different treatment modalities, cognitive behavioral therapies, medications, etc. And we saw in a decrease in something called the PCLM, which is the standardized questionnaire that's used to look at the symptoms of PTSD and showed a statistically significant reduction in symptoms in the patients taking the combination of Centra AM and Centra PM. We also saw improvement in measures of depression, measures of anxiety, and improvement in quality of sleep as well.